Hey guys, today I am driving up to Piqua, Ohio. It is a little bit more than an hour north of me, and a viewer reached out by the name of Dan. He said he has a shop up there, and he had a partner that ran it with him who unfortunately passed away. So he's just trying to sell out everything from the shop and get a little bit of money for his buddy's family. He said he's planning on sending it all to auction, uh, but he offered to let me come through and, uh, and pick, pick through it and see if I could find some stuff. So I was incredibly grateful for that. So I'm headed up there now to meet him. I appreciate you guys having me up. You got a big place. Yeah. And, uh, the upstairs, there's is some stuff that's like going in probate. Okay. And it's just a mess. Like it's embarrassing. So I mean, if you feel like you, it's, it's cool to videotape, I'm all for it. But if you think it's like, well, oh, I'd be embarrassed too. I've, I've picked some crazy places, so I'm up for whatever. We did our first YouTube last night. That's awesome, man. What's yes. your guys' channel called? Uh, Trade and Post Pickers. Trade and Post Pickers. But like you know, like when you guys are like, hey, I sold this here, and, and then it comes up. Oh yeah, so that the way you do that is like I just pull up the item on my eBay app and I will do a screenshot. So I pull it up like this. Oh, that's it. And the then I just screenshot it. it like that. Okay. And then I just send that picture to my computer and it'll let me add it into the uh So you do it like thing. to your library? Is yeah. Yeah, like I do an airdrop you know, thing. I told him the same exact thing and he didn't believe me. Yeah. See, I told you <laughs> I, was, I, told, I told you. So well, like, I'll look and see and get as much as I can. I've got an antique booth too, so I like getting stuff for that. I've been yeah, like really into vinyl. Yeah, vinyl's been selling really? like great. Yeah. Well, I remember hearing somebody say like, you know, scratches, the cover, like see she put those in there. Yeah. But I just left. I mean, there you can grade vinyl just like you grade baseball cards. I don't really get into the grading, and that's why I don't like selling them on eBay. Because, I mean, I mean you'll typically sell a record for $10 maybe, and you're putting the effort to try to grade it, and then you got to get a special box to ship the thing. Yeah, and I'm like, I just like putting them in my uh, antique booth. I got a crate full of records, and I price them pretty cheap, and people can judge for themselves what the, uh, what yeah. the condition is. I mean, the YouTube thing will keep me from getting bored. Yeah, it's fun, man, for sure. I'd say a piece of advice I'd give you is make videos that you want to make and are fun instead of trying to think about, oh, what do people want to watch? Right. Just do what you like. Because after a while of making videos, you'll get burnt out. It's it's a lot of work. Putting, yes. I mean, if a video I put out is like 10 to 15 minutes, it usually takes me an hour to an hour and a half to edit that. You said just make a pile up there? Yeah, we'll just, Great, man. Stuff for him. There you go. Thank you, Parker. Man, you guys got a lot of stuff. Yeah, well, I was kind of worried. Like, man, it's not enough. Wait till you go upstairs. No, there's there's a lot here. That just getting the equipment ready for this is crazy. I'll hand you this stuff, that's all right. I think I'm getting myself buried back here. This table's pretty heavy. The rest of this I'll just though? carry out. It's really nice, yeah. I think that'll be good for the antique booth. Do you need help carrying it? Sure, Parker, yeah, if you want to take those two up, that'd be yeah. great. So I Thank thought, you. These are cool. Yeah, the bad part was uh, there was a bowl, big bowl that went with it. Oh, really? And when the family was going through stuff, they knocked it. Oh no. Oh my god, oh my goodness. That was the best part. Huh. Fire zone. We're gonna add that to it. You said there's an upstairs too? Yep. Let's check it out. I brought a flashlight just in case. Oh you don't need a flashlight. We got lights. Alright. Mark, make sure the door's locked. Okay. I think I did. I think there's stuff here too you might 
Oh hey. man, these are cool. Oh, those are sweet. Just like that type of that logo is really cool. Are you selling those or no? Yep. yep. Alright. I love those graphics. I'll leave them there for now. Just this room? Yeah. Okay. And then from his clothes. Now everything here is for sale. Okay. I say it's so much. Yeah, I mean, there's a lot of stuff. Tons of DVDs. Yeah, all this is in this box. There's Maybe it's just hard to get it all downstairs. Yeah. Holy cow, there's a lot of DVDs. Yeah, this here. That actually might be under there too for them. Wow. Now these I used I would seen on eBay a long time ago for like 50 and 60 bucks. Oh yeah? The Scottish real. plaid Afghan crochet kit. I'm s i am want to say they're probably from the early 70s. That's interesting. Because we got it in the eBay guy at the auction. Like, you do eBay? And I said, no, we just got a bunch of stuff like that for, you know, older women and stuff. Yeah. And then uh, he put them up here. I didn't even know. Are they all the other Afghans? Yes, they're all different, too. They're all steel. Rick Rack, Afghan crochet kit. Yeah, I'd be interested in those. Now I have at my house. We bought a fixer up or something. pretty, none. None. Yeah. But I got like four car garage. Do you really? Now, stuff that I buy, storage units and stuff, like, yeah. is in there too. Okay. But if you want to go through it, yeah, I'll set those. like three, four minutes. Okay. My goal is to keep moving things. From moving there. stuff over? Yeah, because we have two house payments left. Yeah. And then we're going to remodel it. Okay. We're well, if paying. I find stuff, I could save you the trip of, you know, bringing it over here. Or. Yeah, if you got the time, I, I do. Yeah, I've, I've at least got another hour or two. You want to settle up now with this stuff? Or just do a price for everything? One for everything. Okay, sure. All that's coming here to settle. Yeah, that works. Man, you got a bunch of stuff in here, too. Yeah, when we moved in here, they left it a lot. So, there's some pool sticks. If you're in the pool. Camel. So I got Bo Jackson jersey. Oh, that's cool. He might be the greatest athlete that ever lived, man. He was unbelievable. Bo Jackson. Yeah, you're too young to remember Bo. He got hurt playing Cincinnati. Yeah. yeah. You got a whole box of like video game accessories here. Yeah. Yeah. Like I said, this is mostly the stuff I've been getting from storage and I just. Put I don't have no room in my house. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's from Oh, so this is like a big stein or yeah, something. It's the, the pitcher and the Oh man, yeah, that's cool. Well that's like this. Research this. Yeah. You got some old eight millimeter movies down here, it looks like. Is that what those are? I think they are, yeah. I was like, you know, and I just watched Lonnie and he had sold something. Yeah. I didn't know just because I was if we can get it out of here. There's something I think is awesome. Oh, wow. I mean, it looks That's a cooler? Yeah. Oh, man. That is cool. I mean, it's brand new. It just needs to be cleaned up, but no, no, no issues with it at all. Yeah, I But see, that's something I, could, I wouldn't deal with because I can't ship something that big. Yeah. <laughs> I think it's just bad. I'll buy it from you. Shoot. That's cool. I knew you would. Yeah. <laughs> you know my style. I thought, man. My back can't can, but I don't want to overdo it or anything. Is it like a rocker? Like a rocking horse? Yeah. Oh, man. That is neat. It's old. The yeah, it is very stuff. old. <laughs> Jeez. Yeah, somebody handmade it. Yeah, that's cool. Is there more back in this room? Yeah. So that's more bigger stuff like it just goes and goes yeah actually if you have a flashlight yeah i got one oh 
old Louisville Slugger. Yeah, see, we're just gonna tear the we're debating to tear this down and then try to build a bigger one. Oh yeah. But the city complains that we're gonna have to like add one box here. No, oh. shit, I forgot about that thing. Oh, that's cool. Doesn't need a key either. It's just got the flathead screw. Sometimes you get ones that have a special yeah. key on top, and you got to have a key made and the whole big deal. And and they got two trucks. For the you guys looked up that dinosaur? Uh -uh. Somebody said it was really expensive when we first. Yeah. Yeah. It, it it still works. It's you know, huge. Here, you touch it, it works. Yeah, I'm not. That's the other thing. Is how do you ship that? Right. That's. Jeez. Oh. Yeah. yeah, he works. Alright, so I got all this here and then the stuff back at the shop. Throw me a number, man. Let me know what you're thinking. And you're kind of helping. I know you got gas, so you just, whatever you think is better. Because, like I said, it's just going toward shop. And you're really doing me a favor because I hope we can fit all in your van. I'm sure we can. We can get creative. Yeah. How's 400 bucks sound for everything? That's fair. You sure? Yeah. Okay. There you go, Dan. Yeah, I appreciate it. Appreciate you, man. Thank you. We'll load this up and then I'll head back over and get the rest. Dan and Parker, it was great to meet both you guys. Thank you so much for taking the time to show me around your shop and I hope we can do business together again sometime soon. If you guys want to see Dan and Parker's YouTube channel, Trade and Post Pickers, I'll put a link down below in the description. That's it for this video, guys. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. <laughs>